Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Dark Fall playing cards from Jason Brumbelow and Murphy's Magic. And these were hand illustrated by a gentleman named Abraham Garcia. All right, so the theme, the theme of this deck is it's an homage to street artists. Uh, street artists, you know what they do, they usually run out when it's dark, right? When it's nighttime so nobody can see them. Uh, and they imprint their brand, their logo, uh, their tags on the city streets. Uh, so the urban area, the city becomes just their playground, the walls, the street signs becomes their canvas, and then the streets are all the escape routes in case the cops come. And so uh, this deck of cards just is paying tribute to that kind of uh, feel, that genre, that lifestyle of nighttime street art. All right, so the deck itself is a pulsing infusion of symbology, style, and unforgiving passion. Darkfall was created for those who laugh in the face of uncertainty in order to carve their mark onto the world. The front of the tuck ace has that beautiful embossing and it has that large center ace pip. Uh, there in the center, there's like a raven on a pedestal and it says Darkfall in a really cool, uh, kind of futuristic looking font. This side of the tuck case says 2015 Flipstream Finish, and this side says Murphy's Magic Playing Cards Company. The bottom has some ad copy about Darkfall and Murphy's Magic, and the top of the tuck case is plain but has a custom tuck seal. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they do come on their B, their casino, stock. They do have a modern cut, they do have air cushion finish, and they do also have magic finish. If you'd like to learn more about cut, stock, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design has a kind of grid net, almost scale-like armor plating uh, pattern there in the center. It kind of resembles what a casino back deck would look like, although it does have a thick border that's penciled by that white line. Uh, there on the top and bottom in that diamond is that Darkfall Raven, and uh, the neat thing about having an all black to the edge print is that the faces are also all black to the edge print, so it means that you can hide reverse cards. With this deck, you're gonna get two jokers. Uh, it looks like a gas mask, but the top of it uh, is a little different. One looks like it has a crown, the other one is more bow-like. Uh, but again, it has that street art type graffiti look to it, which makes it really cool. With this deck, you're also gonna get two extra cards. Uh, the first of which is you're gonna get a, a second Ace of Spades, but it's done completely in white. And then you're gonna get this Three of Hearts uh, gaff card, where the top pip of the heart has been moved aside and then there's a circle underneath. Your Ace of Spades is similar to the front of the Tuck Ace, where it's that large exploded pip with the raven on a pedestal. Your pips and indice cards are all completely original as well. Everything has been hand drawn and redone. So your font in the corner is a new font and your pips are all uh, new with new placement. This entire deck is stylized in white on black and so there is no color. So your court cards are also that white pencil uh, look. Uh, everything has been stripped of color. So it makes the deck very haunting, very mystic. All right, so that is my review for the Dark Fall playing cards from Murphy's Magic and Jason Brumblow. We'd like to thank Murphy's Magic for providing these for us so that we could review it for you. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find them from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.